My name is Judy Romato. I'm Associate Superintendent for Communications and Planning with the Klein ISD. Joining me today is Chief David Kimberly with the Klein Police Department and Sergeant Doug Thomas with the uh, Harris County Sheriff's Office. I'm going to read a brief statement after which we will take a short amount of questions and then we'll conclude this press conference. Yesterday, two students went missing after school from Klein Collins High School. Alyssa Schaefer and a 16-year-old male student whose name will not be released at this time by the district. Today at approximately 10 a.m., Alyssa's mother notified the Klein police that her daughter's phone was turned on. The Klein police, in conjunction with the Harris County Sheriff's Department and Precinct 4, are now actively working the last known location of the phone, which is where we are right now. This incident command center has been established and all leads are being investigated at this time. Again, we want to ask for the public's help in locating these two missing teens and we just appreciate any support the community can give us to meet that, their safe return. We'll take some questions at this time. Judy, we have heard that there were possible, or maybe this is a better question for police, sheriff's office. We have heard that there were clothing, like articles of clothing found, things like that? No, there were not. There were not. No clothing was found at this Anything time. Found at all that no, nothing, nothing that ties back to either one of the juveniles. Well, it's our mother contacted us and let us know that the Find My Phone app had pinged the phone about 7.50 this morning. Uh, when she contacted us, we immediately sent units to the area to see if we could locate the individuals. And tell us what you're doing now. At this time, we're actually created a grid and we're working uh, neighborhood by neighborhood, high, high visibility patrols looking for them, working any known locations where people might hide. Additionally, the sheriff's department's had their helicopter out, and uh, I believe K-9 is en route to help assist us with trying to locate these two. What can you tell us about their relationship? Are, do they know each other well? We, were they together? Thank you. We don't have any information about their relationship. We only know that they were together after school yesterday afternoon. So you don't know if they've known each other for long? Or we anything? don't have that information. And in the statement, you said that they asked another friend to go to their house. The student that reported that the that information to us um, ended up telling them no that they could not come to their house, and so we so they didn't they didn't come to that house. So we don't know where they ended up last night. What can you tell us about the boy? Um, all I can tell you is that he's a 16-year-old male student from Klein Collins High School. Is there any surveillance video showing that they were in this area? We're still going through the footage, trying to, but at this time we haven't found any video footage of them leaving the campus yet. But again, we're still working through that. So, have you received any sort of information other than that one thing to make you feel like they are still in our area? Right now, no. We do have some other avenues that we're looking at that we that are critical to the investigation that we cannot discuss at this time. But um, at some point, when they surface, we should. We have no indication of that. Right now, as far as we know, the two walked off the campus together. And to be quite frank, we're concerned that with the media hype that they may simply be in hiding, uh, afraid to come forward. So what is the message you want to get out to them? Right now, we need them to come forward. We need them to, we need to get them back, get them back home where they belong. And, you know, we'll, we'll work through the details on this. You know, we realize that there may be some concerns or embarrassment, but we will work with them to work through that. Well, I believe that a lot of kids don't realize it, and the parents don't realize it either, is that being a runaway is not illegal. It's not against the law. So right away, in their mind, you got to think, they're kids. They think we're in trouble with the police are out looking for us. We're not looking for them to put them in jail or that. If they've done anything against the law, we're just trying to return them home safely to their family. So a lot of times with a lot of news media, a lot of the hype, they hide deeper and it's harder for us to find them. And also, since it's not against the law, we have a 
the harder avenues to go down to get phone records, credit card records, anything that we might use to track somebody. That's just not illegal. Do they have driver's licenses, either one of them? Uh, we don't know that information. Have you been in contact with the Boyd family? Um, I have not been in contact with uh, any parent or guardian of the Boyd family, and I do not have the information as to whether the administration has or not. Do you have any information on that? Has the police been? We took the initial runaway report on the individual, and being that he's 16, we really cannot discuss that at this time. We want the children to come home. Alyssa, if you're listening, your mom's waiting for you and you need to come home. You're not in trouble. We just want you to come home. We want the young man to also come home. They need to be in school. They need to be safe. And if they're out on the streets, they can't be safe. And that's why we're putting the effort into this case. Thank you for your questions. I will, I will send updates as I get them by email or text. Thank you.